if you're someone, not. Good luck. I've heard this information. I can't handle it. Something in my no. You can't do this to my Lord and my God in the Scripture. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm not here to hold hands with this guy. We're here about <laughs> the truth of God and has to do with eternal salvation. And I want to be very upfront and politically incorrect. This guy, if he keeps going, then he's not going to see God in mercy. He's going to see God's wrath because he's perverting the Scripture and robbing Jesus of his glory as the God man. Live with it. Jesus is your God and Savior. Live with it. Either repent and accept him or stop blaspheming him because we're going to put an end to it by the grace of Jehovah Jesus. You see what his only boast is? I cast out demons. I cast out demons. But folks, in Matthew 7, 21 and 23, Matthew 7, 21 and 23, Jesus says, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my Father in heaven. For many shall come to me on that day and say, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name? And in your name cast out demons and do miracles in your name? And I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you lawless ones. You see his boasting? His boasting is he cast out demons, but that's the very boast of those false Christians whom Jesus condemns to hell. And that's all he has going for him. You guys saw he can't interpret scripture. He reads into scripture. He perverts scripture. But what is his boasting that he's a true Christian? I cast out demons. Okay. All right. Hold on. Ah, I finally found it. Yeah, baby. He's unblocked. Call me, sir. Call me, sir. You're unblocked. Call me now. <laughs> Put me in my place. Go ahead, Chris. What's up, man? Hold on. What's up, man? Yeah, baby. Hold on. One second. Give me one second. Put down the mic. Put down your mic. One second. Long time no see, Chris. Yeah, are you ready? Put down the mic on your end, Chris. Hold on, hold on. Put down. Sam, calm your demons. Calm your demons down, Sam. Give me a chance. Don't worry about it, Satan. You're gonna get muscled right now, like the dog you are. So let's have fun. All right, son of Satan, let's do it. You even look, you even look demonic, brother. But it's okay. The Lord will heal you today. You know. Okay, brother, let's get to the arguments. Get to the arguments. What was your objection? Get to the argument. Hold on. I'm trying to mute the background. All right. It's okay now. Why in the dark, man? Put on some light. I know you're amped up, but calm down. It's a, hey, friend, I, you know I'm passionate. We've done this before, Chris. Come on now. I get loud. Even when I know I'm you playing. love me, Sam. You don't have to make it like yeah. you hate my guts. I, I know hate you, you man, me. because, you know, only the lonely know huh? You know, you know, first, is this, is this, this is live, right? For your people? Yeah, they're listening. Oh, they're, they're God's people, friend. Come on now. Yeah, they're listening. So are we friends or enemies? Like, come you, on, man. I'm being nice to you now, right? No. I'm treating you, you nice. You've been but you've been bashing me on your channel. For because months. Chris, you did something. You did something I didn't like, friend. You did something. You did something I didn't like, dude. You talked to me disrespectfully. You talked to me like I'm an animal. And that's why our friendship ended. Yeah, well. Why don't you tell me? Why don't you tell them the truth? Okay, hold on, wait, 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 wait. What was the reason I got angry at you, Chris? Can you remind you me? Got, you got angry at me over a contention that we had over some doctrine in the Old Testament. I don't even Did remember. We? Well, and you were supposed to set up a debate with Roger. Was it? Was and, it Jim or Jennings? No, no. Well, that was a separate issue. Yeah, no, no, no. I know. I'm just reminder. Yeah, don't. No, it was an issue. You said something. You got me upset, and I got angry. And then you felt this way. But then what you did after that? What you did was. You remove the second discussion, Chris. Why? I'll tell you why. You know why. It's because you disrespected me, and I don't want to feature yeah, you. Yeah, but on you my didn't. Channel. But that's you didn't remove the first session. Because that's a debate. The second one was us in, in a friendly matter. Right. I was promoting you. Okay. I was speaking well of you, and I said to myself, "Why am I going to speak well of Sam right. if in private Sam talks to me like I'm a dog?" God forbid. Okay, all right, Chris. I'll be nice now. Come on, talk to me now. Is, is that a valid answer? Oh, well, I mean, you felt like I disrespect you, treated like a dog. Okay, but I got upset when you removed the second discussion and I said I can't trust you what, anymore. What? 
But, I, but if I posted what you said to me in the Skype, do you think other people would agree you disrespected me? Go ahead, post it, man. Uh, people know. Don't show me what, what I said and why I said it. Come on. But anyway, I said, all right, we're going to start a new clean slate now, and I'm going to be nice. Um, what else do you want me to tell you now? Well, you're, you're going around telling people I took the thing down because I'm embarrassed that you schooled me. I'm not embarrassed. Okay, then. Me. Put it back up. You keep talking about soul sleep. I was never married to that. I was married to no, that. No, and I life. said I said you were uh, you were humble enough to correct your position. I didn't say that you that you. This were... is truth to all your followers. This is the truth about me. Can and you soul stop sleep. saying my followers, friend? And can okay. What do you want me to call them? What do you want me to call them? Christians, man. Okay, to everyone that Sam's been telling for months and months and months that I'm trying to hide something, now you know the truth why I took it down. And he's going to put it back up now. Hiding. Now you know I'm not hiding anywhere because right. right. I'm right here. And, and he's going to put here. up the discussion again. So now that he said it, he's going to put it up again. I'm over here. We'll put some wrestling headgear on. We'll wrestle. That's we'll all right. Kickboxing. Wrestling. I do kickboxing. Each other. Okay. Now what was your objection, man? Can you give me an objection get your Bible ready? Give me your objection. What object? Why do I have to have an objection? I thought in the text you said you had an objection for me. This is my question for you tonight because okay. I've been listening for about 10 minutes. Only? You haven't <laughs> listened to my seven previous series and all this? Actually, I listen to you a lot because I respect your gift to remember Thank the you, scripture. Sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, what's the question? I I don't disrespect you like you've done to me multiple times. Hey, man. Times. All right. Let's say I told you I'm on a clean slate, and I'll, I'll, I'll be nice to you. I promise you. Okay? I thought Further, what you did was dirty. Am I a heretic, or are you sticking with your original well, position? Here, well, heretic? here's the thing. As I tried to say in those sessions, your view, because I want people to understand why I said what I said. You don't believe, so they can get it, because a lot of people, I took a lot of beef even from James White for saying this. You yeah, don't I believe. That's why you're mad at me too. No, you I'm not mad at you at that. Okay, let me make the point for the people because the people here don't want us to talk about our hurt feelings and how we can we can do that private. Okay, here. What no, I said no, was. I'm gonna talk to you. I'm gonna talk to you like a friend. This is okay. Bad. I'm talking to you, Chris. You're giving you a chance to show that you have a better memory than me. Okay. Hey, to, all, to all the people watching, I know Sam has a better memory than me. I don't need to give him a chance to do his little dance. You're going to hear a mano y mano conversation okay. because yeah. that's my realm. All right. Let's do this in my realm. Okay, I'm doing it, man. But I want to explain your view and what I said because it's still there. I said that your view is that you don't believe Jesus was created from nothing. And you don't believe the Holy Spirit was created from nothing. But that Jesus and the Spirit proceeded out of God. Remember? That's what you said. Of course. Okay. I go, that view is akin to... What Justin Martyr and Tertullian would say, so because of that, I cannot say it's heretical. I don't agree with your formulation, but I cannot say it's heretical. I've said that. I stand by it. The only problem you have is that unlike Justin Martyr and Tertullian, who identify Jesus as the Jehovah of the Old Testament, you're not willing to call Jesus Jehovah. I'm willing to say Jesus can bear the name of Jehovah just in in the rep. I explained this to you when we had our conversation. Yeah, but and I brought up the I brought up the Elijah argument, and I saw it was the first time you heard that argument. What Elijah? John say the, it again. The argument that John the Baptist is coming in the fullness yeah. of the spirit of Elijah, so he can bear that. Not name. the fullness of the spirit of Elijah. Right? You said the spirit and power of Elijah. Is that what you mean? We're splitting hairs now. No, no, yeah. Because what does that mean? Okay, no, it's not I didn't hear it. I addressed it. I said that John the Baptist and Elijah are of the same nature, empowered by the same spirit, performing similar function. In what way is Jesus Jehovah if he's not Jehovah ontologically? Because John because, is not simply, what? Because he comes in his father's name and his father's name is in him and the glory of Jehovah shines through his face. And he comes and he's been generated from the substance of Jehovah. So then he has the substance of Jehovah then, right? I never denied that. Okay, so it, is there anyone other than Jesus and the Spirit that have the substance of Jehovah? In its fullness? In its, in its uh, fullness of deity? No. Okay, now, when Eve came from the substance of Adam, did that make her human, make her Adam? Yes. So then, why is she Adam? Because she simply represents Adam, or she is the same substance of Adam? 
Because she was derived from the rib of Adam. Well, side or rib, okay, we won't split hairs there, but still that means because she's of the sus substance of Adam, right? Yep. Yeah, so then that. then that means it's not simply Jesus is Jehovah because he bears his father's name and speaks in his father's name, but because he's of the, of the substance of the father, as is the Holy Spirit, just like Eve, she's Adam because she's of the substance of Adam. And because of that, she is a Adam ontologically, not simply representationally. You say that's why he is Jehovah? Yeah. Jesus Jehovah is Jehovah because he has the nature of Jehovah, wait, 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 Hebrews 1.3. Wait, 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 Jehovah is a proper name. Human is not. No, Jehovah Adam is, is a proper name. Apple, apple. Now let me correct that again. Adam is a proper name. Chris, you can talk over me. It's not going to work. Adam is a proper name because in the New Testament... Adam refers to the first male who's contrasted to Christ. It is a proper name, and it's a generic noun. And Jehovah is not just the proper name of the Father. It's the name of the Son, per Hebrews 1, 10 to 12. So you're mistaken again. Right, no, no, but I'm not arguing. I, I said it about human, not about Adam. No, I said Adam. So why'd you change my word? I said Adam. Okay, let's say you said Adam. I'll agree with you there. She can carry the name Adam. Is she called Adam? She could be called Adam, and I. What and is I she called Jesus. Adam? She is. Okay, Genesis five two, and so again, why no, is Eve called Adam? I, but Sam, you're not letting me explain. Okay, I'm not denying that Jesus can be called Jehovah. That's not what I said either. I said, why is Eve called Adam? Adam because she has the nature said. of Adam. So why is Jesus called Jehovah? You said because he comes in his Father's name. His Father's name is in him, and he represents him. I go, no, it has to be more than that. Well, no, I also said because he was generated from him. So you believe he is Jehovah ontologically, right? No, I believe he can bear the name of Jehovah because so we're he back was to derived square one. from Jehovah. Okay, but if he's the, the substance of the Father, that means he has the substance of the Father. And if he has the substance of the Father, he's not sub simply Jehovah <clears throat> representationally, but he is Jehovah ontologically. I believe he's the son of Jehovah, Jehovah and he could bear that name because Why? he's ontologically okay. like you because he's ontologically connected. You know that. Okay, so then he is Jehovah in nature. No, he can be called Jehovah because... Do you understand nature. when you say ontologically, you're speaking of the nature of a thing, right? Yes. So you just said, and everyone heard it's recorded, I, I, that he I, is my, Jehovah look, ontologically. You're arguing a different point. No, I'm arguing the point make. that Jesus is Jehovah because he is Jehovah ontologically by nature, not simply representationally. Jesus can be called Jehovah Why? because he's the son of Jehovah ontologically. Okay, so then if he's the son of Jehovah ontologically, that means he bears the nature of his father. What nature would that be? I mean, you keep you keep trying to make a point that I'm not refuting. So then you then say it so people can hear it because you haven't said it yet. Jesus is Jehovah ontologically. Jesus can be called Jehovah. So you notice you didn't say it again? See, now this is the fourth time, and people are hearing no, you. No, I didn't say call. Didn't Jesus is Jehovah ontologically, just like Eve can be called Adam because she is Adam I ontologically. So I, can you say, no, for people to no, hear no. you, Jesus is Jehovah ontologically? Don't cut me off. You but just say said it. Eve be called Adam. Because, because she's she Adam ontologically. Right, and I'm saying Jesus can be called, parentheses, bear the name Jehovah, Why? because he's derived from Jehovah. No, say ontologically. it simple. Say it simply. Jesus is I Jehovah ontologically. Sam, you know I don't want to say it simply, okay, nor so do much. I have to to be within orthodoxy. Yes, you do, because you Jesus is called Jehovah, not simply because he represents the Father. He is Jehovah by nature and does what Jehovah does. Hebrews 1, 10 to 12. Explain That's that for me. your position, Sam. Well, explain Hebrews 1, 10 to 12 for me. Hebrews 1, 10 to 12 proves that when God looks at him, he identifies him by his name because he's his son. Where does it say that in Hebrews 1, 10 to 12? It's quoting it the text about Job. Well, it, 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 yes, it does. Now, Chris, it listen to the you, argument. Psalm 1, 2 is speaking of Jehovah, right? Psalm 1, 2 in its context. Right. And Absolutely. is that Jehovah, Jehovah, the Father, who's Jehovah by nature and ontologically, or is that Jehovah the Son in Psalm 102? Well, 
according to you, it's all three, right? No, according to me, as far as, far as Hebrews is concerned, it's specifically the son being addressed by the father, because I don't believe Hebrews is misquoting Psalm 102. But if someone looks at Psalm 102, someone... I, one two, I, I understand how you want to pin that on yeah. the son, and I believe it is referring how to How am I the pinning son? it to the son when Hebrews ascribes it to the son and says the father is glorifying the son? He, Hebrews ascribes it to the son. I'm in total agreement. But not because the father is calling him the most high. Yes, he is. Because when the father sees him... If you've seen him, you've seen the Father. Now so notice what you father, did. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Well, no, no, no. You shift. You shift the argument from Most High. Don't change the argument. Stick with Hebrews one ten to twelve. The Father is glorifying the Son for doing what? I didn't say the word Most High. Yes, you did. <laughs> agreement, but not because the Father is calling him the Most High. Yes, he is. Because when calling him the Most High, yes. the Most High, the Most High. I didn't say the word most high. Yes, you did. did it's I? recorded. You just said he's not the most high. You just said it. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I, yes, you did. Look, when, when the father looks at Jesus, yes. does, when he looks at him, does he see the father? The father sees Jesus. He sees the son, not the father. When the father, look, the Bible says, if you've seen him, you've seen the father. That's when John father 14, but that's him. talking about Jesus in the incarnation. We're talking about Hebrews 1, talking about Jesus when he created don't confuse the two categories. No, no, no it's both. Be, and, and no, it's, not in Hebrews okay. 1, 10 to 12, no. No, this is why it's both, because he's carrying his nature. Not That's in Hebrews he's... 1, 10 to 12. Do exegesis, not eisegesis. In Hebrews All 1, right. 10 to 12. All right, then, then answer me this. Hmm? Why did he tell him that if he saw him, he, he also sees the Father? Was it because he has the same nature? It's because he is the visible image of the invisible God in the incarnation. That's John 14, when Jesus is in flesh. Hebrews 1, 10 to 12 is Jesus when he created the heavens and the earth before he became flesh. You're confusing the categories. I'm not going to let you do that. In Hebrews 1, 10 to 12, is that's the Father the referring to Jesus when he created the heavens and the earth? As it is on earth, so it is in heaven. So oh, so you're saying you're a Mason now because that's a Mason slogan, Masonic slogan. No, now in Hebrews 1, 10 to 12, get back to Hebrews 1, 10 to 12. That's straight out of the Bible. No, that's taking that's it out of context and misapplying it like you do with every passage of Scripture. Can no, you deal no, with Hebrews no. 1, 10 to 12? No, no, no. Can you deal with it? Yes or no? Just let me know. I told you how I deal with it. Okay. When the Father sees so you, the Son, I said Jesus want, you don't want the answers. Then. No, I don't you like. To, I'm not going to accept an answer that butchers the Scriptures and perverts the Scriptures. I'm not going to let you do that. It's like letting a Muslim interpret the Bible the way he wants. Sorry, it ain't going to happen. In Hebrews right, 1, Sam, 10 to 12. Sam, yeah. Sam, I know this is your show, but let's have fair talk time. Yeah, well, you're, you're not addressing the points. I can't let you run on a tangent. I, no, no, you're just not happy with the answer, okay. Sam. Can you, Elijah, okay, let's can, see if I'm not. Can, can John the Baptist be called Elijah? Yes or no? Of course he can be called Elijah. But is why is he, he called Elijah? Elijah? Is he Elijah, Sam? No, he's not. Okay, thanks. Okay, but no, let me now turn it against you. Why is he called Elijah? Because he's coming in the fullness of that spirit. Okay. How does coming in the fullness of that spirit sh show he's Elijah? So he's saying that the human spirit of Elijah was reincarnated? He's bearing the spirit of Elijah just like Jesus bears his father's no, spirit. No, that doesn't say that Jesus simply bears his father's spirit. That's why he is Jehovah. But Come before on, we get, before we get there, let's go to your John again. example because I want people to hear what you just said. I want people he to catch you what you just said. Him. Listen, are you going to talk over me? What do you mean he bears the spirit of Elijah? So that was Elijah's actual human spirit that became reincarnate in John? The same spirit that God the Father put in Elijah. What is that spirit? Put... What do you mean, what is it? We, I, I what? Can't you mean the human me. spirit of Elijah or the Holy Spirit that empowered Elijah? The, the spirit of God that God put in Elijah, okay. he also put in John. That's exact. So it's not the human spirit of Elijah, right? No, okay. absolutely not. So then, okay, so now the reason why John is called Elijah, because he's filled with the spirit like Elijah was, and he performs a similar ministry to what Elijah did. So that's how we account for the similarities. Now explain to me why Jesus called Thank Jehovah. You, well, let me finish the point because it's going to backfire against you if you're patient. In Hebrews no, 1, 10 to 12, you, in Hebrews 1, 10 to 12, in Hebrews 1, 10 to 12, Jesus is called Jehovah. 
who created the heavens and the earth. So this is before creation, before anything exists, before he became flesh. Why is he called Jehovah at that point? Because he's coming in the fullness of his father's spirit and the glory of his father. See, you didn't hear my, see this is why I cut you off because you didn't hear my point. Let me repeat the point because you didn't hear it. Jesus is called Jehovah in Hebrews 1, 10 to 12 when he created the heavens and the earth. This is before creation, before he became flesh. So let's try it again. Why is he called Jehovah? Because he was also exempl exemplifying his father then, Sam. How can That's he be why. exemplifying his father when there was no one for Jesus to exemplify the father too? Because this is creation. No one else exists. What are you talking about? There doesn't need to be. You yourself would describe him as the rays coming off that sun, right? No, I would talk about the rays in reference to him manifesting God visibly in creation. Not manifesting God visibly before creation. Don't assume how I interpret Hebrews 1. Deal with my objection. No, I'm not talking about Hebrews 1 anymore when I say the rays. You know what I'm talking That's about. That's the only place where he said to be the rays, right? Hebrews 1, 3, the ra radiance of his glory. About the church. I'm talking about the church fathers, how they, they refer to him as the rays and the fathers, the son. You mean the same church fathers that say that Jesus is Jehovah of hosts, not the father? Those church fathers? What do you mean? They and Justin they Martyr, so you don't know the church fathers. I have it right in front of me. Justin Martyr said, Jesus is Jehovah of hosts because the Father is above being named. He's above all names. So the Jehovah of hosts is Jesus, not the Father. That's what he said to Justin yeah. Martyr in his dialogue with, I'm sorry, with Tribe. Do you agree with that? Yes. You agree but Jesus is Jehovah of hosts, not the Father, because the Father is above being named. So you agree with Justin Martyr? This is what I agree with. They identified him as Jehovah, but they knew the Father was the Most High. So no, but wait, 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 wait. They didn't say that. They said that Jesus is Jehovah host because the Father is above being named. So the name Jehovah is not the Father's, it's the Son's. Well, I wouldn't agree with that comment. So then don't go to the Father's because I'll turn them against you to refute your position. You no, can't no, have your cake and eat it. I can go to the Father's and turn them against you Just too. like no. you go to the Bible and twist it to agree with you and can't deal with it contextually, right? Look, look, look. No, that's just your philosophy. Okay. Can we deal with Malachi 3 1, which you did not record because I want everyone why, to see? Why, why didn't David Wood put up our debate? Why did he post the why should he? debate? Why should he? Well, because, because he waits till you shred somebody and then he puts it up. No, on so the you're channel. lying. I've had many debates with people that David hasn't posted. He hasn't posted my debate with Shabir Ali online or my debate with Sam Abdullah, and you're worse than both of them. So don't flatter yourself, brother. Honestly, you're, you're, you're giving yourself too much credit. <laughs> I'm not flattering myself. I'm just trying to get the job done. Okay, so now can we do Malachi 3 verse 1? Because that's the one you didn't record. And I want people to see how you flopped on that one too, Malachi 3 1. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's do that one. And by the way, let's let's clear the air on that first because you've been up there yapping your mouth that yeah, I didn't my mouth. record it and I'm scared of you. Well, blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. People are noticing you're you're discombobulating. You're not able to answer anything coherently. So glory to God. This is now recorded. People right. say why you do not know the Bible. You shouldn't be teaching the Bible and fancy yourself as an exorcist thinking that you're casting out demons by the Spirit of Christ. So you can deceive no, yourself I into that. I, I know I'm casting them out. Yes, even out. those people in Matthew 7, 21 thought the same thing when they came to Jesus. We cast out demons in your name, Lord. They're just like you. They thought the same thing. Sam, Sam, but go to Malachi 3. You like to embarrass people? You know you like to embarrass people? Let me embarrass you for a little bit. Please, can How you? many demons have you cast out, Sam? Well, I cast them out all the time. You're one of them. I'm casting you out by the authority of Scripture. Oh, I'm a demon? Really, Sam? Is that biblical? Yeah, well, I'm you're a human demon. demon. I'm casting you out. So I cast them out all day, all night, every day. I cast out human demons because demons work through human vessels. You're one of them. And I'm silencing you by the power of Jesus Christ. Well, I really look like I'm silenced, don't I? Okay, look then like let's I'm go to Malachi silent. 3 verse 1. Well, let, I, okay, we're going to go there Go too. there. Don't Give your funny. interpretation of Malachi 3 verse 1 so people can laugh with me. Come on, Malachi 3 verse 1. No, no, no. I'm the only one laughing right now. Okay, all right. But before, but all right. before we go there, Sam, before yes. we go there, yes. why don't you tell the people that I never told you I was recording that and it was a private conversation now that you've No, you Mark see, again, now. the Lord's going to hold you accountable. You did not tell me when we started you weren't recording. At the end, you said, oh, I didn't record this. So don't lie because the Lord's going to hold you accountable for every word you say. Oh, no. This is the truth. Did I tell you I was recording it? At Wait, hold on. So time? every time I go on Skype to do a session with you, it was recorded. So you're going to have me assume that the third time we discussed it, it wasn't going to be recorded when the two previous no, times it was? No, 
Oh, now you're lying. Was it recorded when me and you had a private conversation? About yes, you James recorded Ray and you posted and you it. Had... No, 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 no. This the talk on Soul Sleep. Did you record that? Yes. Okay. When then I told you, let's talk about Malachi three one. Malachi yes, three one. How about the talk before Soul Sleep where I sent you money because you're having problems with your family and court and all that? So, wait, wait. Now, guys, and he now said he's, he's not a demon. Wait, wait. So you say you're not a demon. Notice how he's trying to now puff himself up. That wasn't a discussion about theology. That was you and me talking because you wanted to extend help. But, guys, you saw he just exposed himself. Thank you. You just got your reward. Tell people how much you sent me. So let's let's continue. Well, how much did you send me, Chris? I'm not telling them how much I sent you. No, I'm no, because you were stupid them. enough to say, why don't you talk about the time we had a private conversation and I sent you money in order to show up, show what exactly? You just embarrassed yourself. You just showed yourself you're a con artist. You're a fool. No, no, no. Let me okay. tell you why. Let's go to Malachi 3 verse 1 because you're no, a fool. No, no. Let, me you Malachi 3 1. let me tell you why I said it. You asked me a question. Go you ahead, want yeah. the answer? Because you're up here lying and saying that we record every conversation we had when you. So now you're up. you're either a liar or you're so stupid and demonized you don't understand context. I'm talking about recording every conversation that had to do with theology, you moron. No, no, you're why, why are you calling me a moron? Because I have to treat going, you like a fool. Right. Now, are we going to go to now, Malachi three one so I can school you? Now are we going to go to Malachi three one or to school you? Or are you going to keep ranting? Are, are we going to go to Malachi 3 1? Do you, just, do you just want to jump up and down and show everyone that you have a good memory? Or no, do you want to go to Malachi 3 1 or do you want to keep ranting because you're scared? Because that's what you're doing. You're scared now because you don't want to go to Malachi 3 1. No, we're going to go there. Okay, then Let's go. Let's finish this now. No, no, go to Malachi 3 1. Always start time. People don't want to hear your sob story because they already think you're pathetic. Read the comment yeah, section. You're, you're go to Malachi 3 1. You're false accusing me of boasting. I am and boasting in Jesus. Lot who is my Lord, and he's given me the grace to silence a boaster who's a fool who thinks he's a Christian. Are we going to go to Malachi 3.1? For the, for the record, bottom line. You got 10 mind. seconds to go to Malachi 3.1 because we're not going to let you rant. Are you going to go to Malachi 3.1? 10 Why seconds. Why do you want me to talk? Why do you want me to talk? 10. So? What are you worried? 9. Go to Malachi 3.1. 8. What are, what are you worried about? Sam? I'm scared. Everyone can see I'm scared. 5. Come on, coward. Malachi 3.1. You're going to go to Malachi 3.1? Damn. Damn, you look scared to me right now. Oh, I'm shaking. I think, yeah, and your smile, man. I can see demons coming through your teeth. Did you brush them? Yeah, Malachi 3-1. So Malachi 3-1. Okay, let's do it. How many demons have you cast out, Sam? You're one, and then the Muslim the other day, and then a Muslim before. Yeah, I cast out them day in, day out by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right, You're one so of them. The answer, so the answer is none. Malachi 3-1, oh. sir. I think the answer is none. Malachi 3-1. No demons. Hey guys, no. what can I ask you guys? Matthew 7 21 23. Won't there be people coming up to Jesus like him boasting, hey, we cast out demons, and they're still sons of Satan go to hell? So this guy, his only boast is he cast out demons, which was also the boasting of those false Christians whom God condemns to hell. Good job. Keep clinging to that as proof that you're a Christian. Matthew 7 21 23. Now, now are we gonna go to Malachi 3.1. Yes, we are. But Can you turn there? You, I just gave you more than 10 seconds. I'm going to give you five seconds. Malachi 3.1. Turn there. Are you going to let me talk? Are you going to go to the text? Five. Gonna, yes, I will. But but you read, it. The point? read it. Are you, are you gonna let me read you it. Read it. Are you going to admit you never... Okay, guys. Now you see why I've locked them? You saw why I've locked them, right? You see that, guys? That's why I blocked him. And block him from here, too. Okay, guys, you see what, why it was a waste of time? But I did it for your benefit. I didn't do it for mine. I didn't do it for my benefit. I did it for your benefit. So block him. That's it. You see why this guy is not to be supported. Don't encourage people to go. Thank God I've actually had emails from people saying... By the grace of God, they left his ministry because they saw what it was, what it's all about. You see his only boast, folks? You see what his only boast is? I cast out demons. I cast out demons. But folks, in Matthew 7, 21 and 23, Matthew 7, 21 and 23, 
Jesus says, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But those who do the will of my Father in heaven, for many shall come to me on that day and say, Lord, Lord, do we not prophesy in your name? And in your name cast out demons and do miracles in your name? And I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you lawless ones. You see his boasting? His boasting is he cast out demons, but that's the very boast of those false Christians whom Jesus condemns to hell. Yep. And that's all he has going for him. You guys saw he can't interpret scripture. He reads into scripture. He perverts scripture. But what is his boasting that he's a true Christian? I cast out demons. more irrefutable proof that the bible is supernatural miraculous it's the living word of the triumph god and that jesus is god almighty in the flesh the god man equal to the father and the spirit in essence one true god three eternally distinct persons father son and spirit so the the true god is a him and a them a me and an us so fear those father son and spirit who eternally exists as the one god fear him who can destroy both body and soul in hell May the Lord Jesus save me from error and stammering and confusion and save us from sinning against him, but loving him and worshiping him perfectly until you return. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, and protect us. Give us power to silence these dogs. They will never make us stop. As long as the Holy Spirit fills us and we're covered by your blood, Lord Jesus, they cannot make us stop. And we will not stop even unto death. We love you, Son of God. The Bible is a Trinitarian book. Yep. And an anti-Trinitarian nightmare. Perfect.